I like getting a stale website, getting a, having a stale set of exchanges. It just feels funny, right? Like a new exchange, like a new website is just uh, like it, uh, it, there's a sense of excitement about it, I should say. So we would like to do uh, definitely a new exchange. And so Neeks, you've been doing a lot of research on different That's ones. Right. We've mentioned some before, but you've done a lot more work, work on this now. Yeah, yeah. So let me let me start uh, set the uh, situation. So first of all, I think there are a few things to acknowledge or understand about the exchange um, landscape. So I think that we can easily say that among the first uh, fifty or hundred, the top hundred exchanges, the amount of exchange requiring KYC is just ever increasing. It is it is yes. crazy. Um, it is becoming a lot more difficult to be able. And I mean, it was expected that the situation will become more and more strict. So we only have actually a few options. And it's not that we are against KYC, but you're probably also familiar with the fact that those exchange also refuse US customers. So that yeah. is a major problem for us. We want a US customer to be able to access exchange. But again, our research showed that it is uh, it is not going to be something that is going to calm down. Uh, quite the opposite. Um, the possibility for uh, non KYC exchange will keep shrinking down. So we have to be uh, we have to be extremely smart for that. And so one thing that um, people kind of I think are not not comfortable with or less comfortable with is that they're calling for those big name exchanges. But they're actually the one who are restricting people with KYC, restricting U.S. customers. So at the end of the day, they they won't won't get what they want. And so what we saw is that if you actually want that, we should probably go to smaller exchanges. Um, yes, and it is also um, like it is also a price concern. <laughs>